Hello, um, I'm just going to make a quick five minute video about the Pentax ME Super. Um, it's quite common for the Pentax ME Super to have some winding mechanism issues, and I faced one of those issues, and I just want to do a quick walkthrough of how I fixed it. Um, I saw a very helpful YouTube video online which deals with a similar issue, and I'll link that below as well. Um, essentially, what might happen is the advanced lever here, um, you may experience issues where either it's sort of jammed, like it won't move at all, or when it does move, um, there is no tension. Uh, so I experienced both of those issues. Uh, and luckily, it's relatively easy to access the mechanism at the bottom here. Uh, so what you should do is undo these three screws. Actually, I'll do it the other way around. And then place them carefully somewhere where you're not going to lose them. It may also be helpful for you to take this piece of black plastic out because sometimes that falls out. Um, and I usually remove the batteries as well. Um, so you can see clearly the mechanism is right here. And what I found really helpful in the last video, um, the video I linked below, was that I could see the mechanism working and where all the parts were. But I had to play it in slow motion because it was only like three seconds of the video. So what I'll do is I'll just wind the mechanism a few times so that you're able to see where all the bips and bobs are supposed to go. So what was wrong um, with the ME Super for me was during the rewind process, what happened was the advanced linkage, which is this piece here, attached by three screws, um, ended up in the wrong spot. So um, the advanced linkage was actually on top of this piece of metal here, instead of being pushed by it uh, here. And in order to fix that, I actually had to bend uh, this, this piece of metal, which is supposed to be at a right angle, was also out of place, and I had to bend it to get it out, and unfortunately it fell off and I had to reattach it later. Um, so what I would recommend if you are facing these issues is first of all, have a careful look at your advanced linkage, which is this piece here, uh, and see if any of the mechanisms here are in the wrong spot, particularly if you forced the mechanism during rewinding, um, and afterwards, I would suggest that you, uh, first of all, remove this, this piece of the advanced linkage, and see if it will wind, uh, and see what's wrong. What happened for me was that uh, this piece at the bottom here was, uh, after I'd, I'd fixed the initial problem and put the advanced linkage in the right spot, this piece of metal here was blocking it from moving at all, and it was extremely tense. Uh, so it was completely jammed and I couldn't move the advance lever at all. So what I did was I just manually moved that piece of metal with a screwdriver so that I could start winding it. And then eventually, um, I think that because of the movement, um, something unjammed and the shutter started being able to fire again. Uh, and that was the problem. The shutter wasn't firing, which wasn't moving this piece of metal downwards, this black piece of metal down. Uh, and so, yeah, that's that's my successful fix. Uh, what I did find helpful from the other video is they recommend you to use um, sewing machine oil. So it's quite useful for you to have some sewing machine oil on hand, and you can just buy one of these little uh, bottles with a metal tip. Um, I had to use sewing machine oil in order to remove the advanced linkage. So, although it was fine for me to remove these th three screws without any oil, um, this part, which attaches this black bit uh, of the advanced linkage, um, was totally um, stuck. And I had to use some sewing machine oil, and it took quite a bit of time 
um, to actually loosen this piece. So I hope that's helpful. Um, yeah, I, I know in the other video they recommend you to also uh, put some sewing machine oil in order to loosen up a mechanism that's hidden behind the advanced linkage here, which I won't, um, which I won't touch. Uh, and I did that as well, but I think the main thing that really helped was moving all these bits so that you are engaging the advanced linkage, you're engaging all the mechanisms until it starts to uh, work again. So yeah, I hope this is helpful, and that's the video.